Welcome to the first video of Python for Ethical Hackers. In today's video, we are going to talk about a ransomware based on Python. So this video is divided into three parts. The first part, I will introduce you to the Python based ransomware. And in the second part, I will demonstrate that how my Python based ransomware works. And in the third part, I will, uh, I will explain the whole code of my ransomware. So let's get started. First, we need to understand that what is actually a ransomware. So ransomware is a type of malicious software designed to block access to a computer system or the data inside in it until a sum of money is paid. So what basically it do, it encrypts all of your data. It can maybe your documents, maybe your photos or videos. So it encrypts all of your data and um, ask for money. So it asks for ransom from you. You have to pay the ransom to encrypt your own data. So this is how a basic ransomware works. So, so the question arise. Uh, so you have um, seen most of the topics uh, heard about WannaCry ransomware. So WannaCry ransomware is a very popular ransomware. You, uh, if you see here, uh, once uh, WannaCry ransomware was launched on May 2017. So it infected almost two lakh to three lakh systems or uh, it asks for almost uh, three to six hundred dollars to pay for using your own data so this uh, ransomware has done a lot of damage to the economy of from for world so uh, how does it propagate wanna cry ransomware propagate through a vulnerability called eternal blue so this vulnerability is very common among windows 7 and windows 8 machines okay. So why we are using Python? Uh, I think you have heard a lot of about Python used in artificial intelligence development. So Python is used in artificial intelligence because it is very uh, uh, easy to automate tasks in Python language. Okay. Next, uh, next reason is that Python is very simple to code. It is a piece of cake for anyone can code in this language. Even the person who actually don't know about programming who actually even entered in programming field can also code in python language so also python comes with various types of libraries you can uh, if you want to have make if you want to make a website you have django if you want to make a, a, a use cryptography you have cryptography libraries if you want to make a networking application you have socket servers scapy like tools so it basically comes with variety of libraries. So you don't need to worry about uh, those libraries to work on. Okay. So let's just understand first what is encryption because encryption is all we are going to do in our ransomware. So what is encryption first? Encryption is a method in which we convert normal text, readable text to a cipher text through an algorithm and a key. So what basically do that uh, simple you have a text file let's say text file have inside hello my name is Aman so simple it is very readable hello my name is Aman you can read that text file but when it goes through an encryption algorithm it totally converted to a um, uh, it is totally converted to another language which is totally not readable it can be x y z one two three underscore hashtag one two four so totally unreadable and for decrypting that uh, cipher text you need to also have a key from which it has been encrypted so encryption uh, are of two types basically um, they are of symmetric and asymmetric so what is in symmetric the symmetry in symmetric type of encryption there is only a single key single key for encrypting the data also for decrypting the data as you can see in this image here i have my plain text i encrypt with it a secret key and i use that secret key to decrypt it also so this is a basic symmetric encryption works um the so next uh, uh, which we uh, next type of encryption is asymmetric encryption so in asymmetric uh, encryption there are two keys one is public and another is private. So if you want to encrypt a plain text into a cipher text, you, you have to use public key, 
which uh, encrypts the data and if you want to decrypt that cipher text you have to use a secret key you have basically seen it in on wi-fi where all of your data from your device to the your hotspot goes through a public key encrypted with a public key and only the person who have the private key can decrypt that uh, can decrypt that data so it's basically a very secure method than symmetric so we are going to use symmetric type of encryption for this type of purpose so in sim uh, I think you have all understand what is a symmetric encryption key. So let, uh, let's get started how our ransomware will work. So it is basically a client server based architecture where we have a server setup for our ransomware and we have a payload which will go through a client machine. So in the first step my payload will um, say hello to my server. Say just say hi there and my server acknowledge with by replying hi there. And after receiving that hi uh, hello message from my client, my server will generate a new random password, a totally new random password. Okay, it uh, transfer that random password into a uh, al algorithm which is SHA-256. In case we are using SHA-256, and makes a key, and that key is again transferred to my client machine. And when my client machine received that encryption key, it acknowledges and say, let's do it. And then after my connection gets closed, that simple. So after when my payload in after then after my payload gets the encryption key, it start encrypting data. Very basic, very simple, very understandable. Okay, so that's all for today's video. Please comment below, subscribe and share this to other peoples. Thank you.